Hola, buenos días por las mañanas. Vamos a jugar al Call of Juárez Gunslinger. ¿Qué por qué? Porque lo tenía en la biblioteca y la verdad que estuve viendo un gameplay y dije... Oye, pues, ¿por qué no? Eh, normal, difícil o este real. Eh, difícil, supongo. Espero que no nos den muy fuerte. Espero. Este jueguito dura como unas 5 horas o así. Ya que si sí está muy fuerte, ¿eh? Para lo que tú Easy boy. Easy boy. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm yeah. Molly. Howdy. I'm Molly. Uh, I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any couple. of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you Bannock started Montana. as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. Wow. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed it. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. Y cuando empezamos a jugar nosotros, ¿no? Pero jugamos como él, ¿no? ¿Entiendes? Grande. Si las llegó a Abilene, Abilene en 1910. Firman. Anda a ver cabalgado con Billy Nini. Vale. No sé si nos dejarán elegir armas o... It was about 30 years ago. Un momentito, ¿vale? Vamos a bajar... Uy, vídeo no, sonido. Vamos a bajar este. Que es el de la cinemática. A ver qué tal así. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Spring. Aún así sigue sonando muy fuerte. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha. -ha. No, funny, ha -ha. Steve, the other kind of funny. You heard Pat. You need to stay here and keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. I have no choice. Shoot that, some bitch. Gas experiencia por matar enemigos. La necesitas para subir de nivel y obtener habilidades. Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. Es una especie de tiempo bala. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Get on fusil. Está buenísimo. Ha subido nivel pulsa U para abrir menú de habilidades. U. Tienes puntos de habilidad para gastar. Elige una de las tres categorías. 
Habilidad de compra, habilidad de la izquierda. Quiero la de Ranger. La mira ralentiza el tiempo. Tómate tu tiempo para apuntar cuando apuntes con un arma larga o, o de una mano el tiempo se ralentizará, como al usar la concentración. Ah. Oye. Eso está muy bien, ¿no? Hostia, que estaba ahí. No lo había visto. Secreto. Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. The bunch of chickens with their heads around. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. Puedes evitar la bala cuando tu suerte está cargada del todo. Busca espacio para continuar. Evita la bala usando A para esquivar a la izquierda, D para esquivar a la derecha. Hostia. ¿Con qué era eso? Es que yo antes de, antes de, antes de empezar a jugar ahora, jugué un poquito del arcade, que simplemente puedes ir matando gente. Quiero un rifle, tío. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Eh. Qué malo así de fuerte. Me han reventado un poco, eh. Voy a coger munición de los cadáveres porque si no. Para ver los objetos. Es que pone objeto, pero es objetivo, claro. I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door. We'll cover you. Try aiming, you idiots. Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half. Behind the house. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up Y hay bastante daño por, por caída. ¿eh? Que tome de puntos me parece un poco de loco, la verdad. Plan, crear caos es punto. Ah, yo quiero un rifle de eso. Y upstairs I found Billy and Charlie Bolton. Hello, Billy. Tenía que haber bajado el volumen antes. Un poquito más. Un gran tirador. El niño tiene un, un riflillo, ¿no? Billy looked at me and ¿Eh? said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. 
1, 2, 3, 4. I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. I can keep this up all day. I think I got one. Uh. A ver, jugador de la verdad. Más munición de fusil. Esta sobre pepitas de la verdad. No te pierdas ni un detalle. Aparecerán sonidos y pistas que te señalen. Me da igual a mí eso. Entonces le dieron a Charlie. No, hombre, no, Charlie. Charlie, no. Charlie. Pero no le estoy dando en la cabeza o qué? Ah, que hay que irse Porque tiene una Gatling o algo de eso Pero ¿dónde está? Oh, 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 oh. directed that order at me and I thought why the hell do I have to do it but I went anyway dumbass that I was back then hasta allí al fondo vale vale tú para atravesar la puerta Tío. many would have fled in my place But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack, he's just joshing. Funny. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Making my way past the castle of fallen foes. Cafe, cafe. Is he disparing on the head? I don't understand. Y aquí se rellena barbaridad, eh. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Yeah. Stables within my reach. Cuando los secretos eso porque se supone que hay tres en cada, o sea, hay tres y coño ya solo queda uno, ¿sabes? Como la verdad que. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. ¿Ya? Ah, oh, no, esto no me gusta. No me gustan los duelos, no entiendo cómo van. Curioso, apuesto, torpe. Esto de los duelos, ¿he hecho alguno así suelto? 
You challenged him to a show. You read that in a dime novel? Ah, novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. It's a rattlesnake. A ver, cuando tu oponente vaya por su arma, pulsa para desenfundar y apunta y después pulsa para disparar. La puta cara. Y que lo en una fair fight. ¿Es eso lo que Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. Eso no es lo que dije cuando dije que I met Pat Garrett. Met Pat Garrett. Vamos a empezar de nuevo. I finally reached those damn stables. I stepped inside, and bam! Last and thing I heard bam. was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. That was just the beginning. Pepitas. Ha faltado una. Recarga fusil en una blizzard de ojo, ojo de fusil acelerando de recargar. Vale. Significa que los fusiles no, no usan esa habilidad, pero bueno. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah. After I came to, bastard had clocked me with his colt. So two. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. Por un puñado de balas. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. He was with John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape too. My first order of business was finding a firearm. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean ass Bob shotgun. No me gusta porque a mí me gusta la sí de precisión, todo lo contrario. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody see Billy? So I did. Son of a bitch shot Jim Bell. Hell yeah. That scatter gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. 
I put it could blow a man clear off his feet. You hardly had to aim the damn thing. The kids escaped, raised a huge ruckus. Surrender yourself. No, pero me había puesto aquí la E para cambiar a algo. No sé qué. Y hombre, fallo, tío. Qué malo soy, coño. Que soy malísimo. Guards were everywhere looking for him. Oh my god! I had to jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could, but some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in arms. And suddenly, I was a fugitive. I was a fugitive. So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. Where did he get you? I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. But hell if they weren't all waiting for me. Apparently, some of them thought I was Billy. I town somewhere. <sighs> Pero... See, me and the kid shared a certain similarity in build and color. Tenía una clase de sentido hacer ir con las copetas, tío. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass Deputy shot. Deputy Bob. Stop it! Oh. Turns out he's yellow. Uh. We can take him. Me gustaría, bueno, no era lo que buscaba, pero vale. Me gustaría encontrar un rifle. No es lo que he encontrado, pero bueno. Ah, apuntaba la pistola y ya está, no tiene más. So much lead was whizzing by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. Though I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful beasts. You we prize them too high, if you ask me. You ask me. Show yourself, coward! You're done. Porque nadie es un puto rifle. Really?
No, me he equivocado botón. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué... Se supone que... Ah, se la subí por allí. Estoy... Atascado. Y no la pinta, ¿no? Kid while you were busy getting shot at. Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. Yep. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean ass shotgun. Anyway, it was me or them, and the only way forward led me straight to perdition. But the cards were dealt, and I had no choice but to play them. Get that women off the street! Arm yourselves! What the hell did you get away? Pero izquierda había más gente. Ah, mira, los. Los de aquí no vienen más. No, vamos a mejorar esto, ¿no? Arma legendaria desbloqueada. que macha que la R es para recargar más rápido es por la habilidad esa que acabamos de coger antes habrá aquí ninguna pepita de oro no voy a dar el botón para el melee Finally, I found what I was looking for. The stables on the edge of town. The stables. I guess Billy saved your ass, taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. I said, 
I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. So we stood there in the middle of the street, eyeball to eyeball. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. Coño. Deja de moverse. Así fue como nos matamos mutuamente. Pero un momento, pero si usted está vivo ahora. Es verdad, es verdad. Killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. I had no well, damn choice. Lincoln got a mite depopulated that day. Un poco solo. That Garrett gunned down Billy three Continue. months later. Continua, continua. So where'd you go after Lincoln? Eso, eso. Mexico. Until I realized. I ended up taking a job at the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the Cowboys. The Cowboys. The Cowboys. The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clanton himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them on, Brazon. Not really. Brazon. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. Increíble, increíble. 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 Bam, 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 bam. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But oh. no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red oh. scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! There! I did my best to help the water passengers. Hey, okay. Moments later, the attackers were dead, it, eh? and I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. None. None. It was then I wondered if the rocks weren't hiding more bandits. Was that all of them, or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got What's my doing? answer. They attacked from on high, like Apaches often did. <laughs> They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down we know, we know. on their hapless enemies' heads. Making use of the high ground and whatever else they had. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere. And there never seemed to be an end to them. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? W what happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's Cowboys attacked me, Apaches. Ah, ah. I was in a pitched battle. But I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. See, at the time, I was still pretty green, but often blunder into regrettable situations. Buenísimo, que no me entiendo, de verdad. But I just kept Como shooting at bueno. anything I could see up in those damn. Hey. Hola. I didn't see Ringo, but I knew he was with the cowboys. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong. And I was determined to have my revenge. But to get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to find my way past these other assholes first. Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. 
Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Finally, they managed to corner me. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed to pero esto es obligatorio. Estás muerto. ¿Pero qué tenía que hacer? No entiendo. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué tengo que hacer? ¿Pero qué hago? Serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Con la cara. Hasta que subí de nivel. De tus objetivos más rápido. La velocidad al apuntar de todas las armas aumenta un 30%. I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. No one can Uh, ah, oh. no eh, a ver, esta gente no puede correr tantísimo. vacilando en serio ya tiros tú vaya tiros a dead man, a dead man. That's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. ¿Qué está pasando? No sé qué ha sido esto, no lo entendí. It was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. That stroke of good fortune, even the odds, imposed my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Time. All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. Oh, bizarre, the old eh? man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. I came at them like a wildcat. No mercy. My fury knew no bounds. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. Eh, vale, pero no tengo más munición. Otro duelo. Oh, que no gaste. Las carrabias, gruñón. Malo como el demonio. I yelled out at the top of my lungs. Planton, I'm coming for you. A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Because that old fool had a gallon gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. I don't know how you did it. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that ship. <laughs> Damn, I gotta reload. 
Y hombre, no le da, claro Como que está hecho para que corra hasta arriba y ya está Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon, but it was just me. Pero vamos a ver cómo está dando si viene a piedra en medio. Ah, cuando subo otra vez la cabeza le meto otro, otro tiro. Eh, tira cabeza, se, se que se And told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. Mm. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that the little Earps. misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the old K Corral. Exito. Evita de oro, ninguna, claro. De que no. Tengo ni puta idea dónde están. No entendí este intervalo. Dame un momento. Ah, vale, no. Se, es verdad. Se ha bugueado todo. O sea, que este juego no sé por qué me lo deja todo parado, tío. No puedo tocar absolutamente nada. A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the Cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill. And they were loaded for bear. So, what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first, I need to tell you about I promise, I'll tell you why. Boss, Curly Bill Brooks. Earth coming! Get ready, boys. Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise, and after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. Yo suelo darle más a la C para pa echarme que al tonto. Wyatt y Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride. Hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. Tío. Hola. Ah, que subí un nivel. Lanzamiento de... No. Más concentración por tiros a la cabeza. Dispara a la cabeza y tendrás más concentración. Uy, uy, ya no se me ha hecho aquí en el pelo, tío. Tendrás más concentración por cada tiro a la cabeza. Recibirás un 50% más de concentración de lo normal. Esa vamos, pero del tironísimo. Ah, dinamita yo no la uso. Mira. Ya está, ¿no, tío? There were killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. Bandana. That's how the cowboys identified each other. Dear. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. What's up? But you still did. You still like it? You can't hide forever. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed, and that's what drove me forward. 
Mira, tampoco es muy difícil. No, 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 no. Cinco. Una, dos. They say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Herb wasn't much of a match for him, but Doc Holliday might have taken him. That longer should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being uh, loyal. loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died, why didn't his son take over the cowboys? Because I Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Now, where was I? Taking down the entire cowboy gang single-handed. Indeed I was, Jack. It wasn't easy as those boys had good cover. De verdad, me están dando tantos tiros desde allí. Everywhere, piles of lumber and God knows what else for people to hide behind. That really was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. And where was Curly Bill? Did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. Patience. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly. Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Well, finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. Donde que lo mato? Ah, por aquí, ¿no? Está la cama un segundo. Mm. Esto parece un puto laberinto. No sé yo si con el rifle aquí voy a ir bien, ¿eh? Curly Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his no, compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. I fo I, and I followed after. 
Venga, He hecho un trago antes de disparar. Cool este me va a matar. Oh, no, es un. Ah, quería que era un saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringle nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out in the open. The open. A ver este señor. Pitas de la verdad. Pero este señor va muy a tope, ¿no? En plan. Tiene una vida de la hostia. No me conviene más coser las balas con la. con el. Con el revólver, ¿no? Brocious gave me no choice but to take his life. Brocious gave me no choice. Nowhere to be found. About Ringo. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, cause he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed, took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. No he entendido eso. Aunque se ha puesto de repente una forma y luego de otra. Igual que el otro, ¿no? El siguiente es mandar y llevarse un tiro. Este sí va a ser. Realmente duelo. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holiday was the one that killed him. ¿Por qué he tardado tanto? No he entendido nada. Él ya la tenía en la mano y yo le estaba dando y no la cogía. No lo entiendo. Es que esto de los duelos me parece tan aleatorio. Es increíble, sir. I always thought that Doc Holiday was the one that killed him. Y el minijuego este va a apuntarle también me parece una puta risa que no te la crees. Aún hay más. Logro desbloqueado. Encuentra y mata a Johnny Ray. Sorry, I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. But the legend ain't always Doc true. Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. Detecta enemigos fuera de tu campo de visión durante la construcción. Un marcador. No está mal. Para la cabeza sin apuntar. Mantén Q, consumirás toda tu concentración. Pero marcarás a los enemigos de la zona para ejecutarles con tiros a la cabeza perfectos. Cuanto, cuanta más concentración gastes, más morirá. Bueno. Suena muy bien, ¿no? I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Henry Plummer. Innocence. Now, wasn't he the sheriff who all mannered his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh, yeah. I remember oh, him. Yeah. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. The Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. Indeed I did. 
creo que vamos a hacer una o dos más. Un capítulo o dos más. Y cortamos. Es casi cortito, pues llevamos apenas una hora. Pero I need a ducha. Es magnífico. Se me está quemando un poquito la iluminación, ¿no? Uy, Dios mío. Es que no puedo cambiarlo, tío. Este, este juego me buguea todo. Todo, hasta, hasta el Windows. O sea, no me deja tocar nada. Uh, la mina juega al modo arcade y es un coñazo, eh. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find it. Why would you be nervous? No one has a cone to come after us. Why would you be nervous? Yeah, besides, George is up there on the rocks with that rifle of his. Nothing gets past him. Oh, porque flota. My father pointed out to me more than once. God made men. Samuel Colt made a meal. Eh? Con. No se ve que vive la gente. Allá arriba, vamos. Bueno, la mina es esta, ¿no? Secreto. Secrets. No entiendo nada, eh. No entiendo nada. Pero no era por aquí, eh. No sé aquí dónde estaba. Ah, porque está acá. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine. So I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. There were thieves and killers, robbing okay. travelers and hijacking gold shipments. Like those who ran with plumber. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Easy pickings. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's sons. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. Of course, the rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh, Antietam. Plummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch a hell of a lot. protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. Dangerous, desperate individuals. I was outnumbered and in way over my head. But I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize. They must have thought I was touched. Or had some kind of death wish. Seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. Watch out for the goddamn gunpowder! One stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and cuatro balas, huh? I thought I was some kind of hero. Some kind of heroes. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. Parece el típico hueco que no ves. 
aquí donde podría estar un coleccionable, pero no. Tiene por aquí, no por ahí. Ah, por aquí. I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was señor? to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. <laughs> it was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Put that moron out of his misery. Sí, okay. estado de morir. Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. Single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. With all that gunpowder and dynamite everywhere, a body has to know what to shoot. Vale. All it takes is a little bit of a little bit of Ah, me he muerto. Hostia, me la ha cargado aquí. Ah, me mata sí o sí. Vaya putada, la verdad. Es que este mapa me lo he hecho yo en el arcade. Y en el arcade podías explotarlo todo. ¿Qué, ¿Qué hago, tío? <risa> o sea, le he disparado a él. Y le he dado a él. Si la bala sigue, pues macho. ¿Qué coño? Pues no sé, no entiendo qué quieren que haga. Esto era lo que quería que hiciera. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dead blast too. Dice, ¿qué dice? 
¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? O sea... One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into Tío. a dead blasted too. I freely admit that my plan of attack was not just moronic, but clearly insane. Muerte del del cielo. Mata a cinco enemigos mientras estás en el aire. Y morí. Ya que esta muerte era obligatoria para decir que no iba a hacer eso. ¿Qué? Pues si por aquí era por donde yo iba ahí. Espera aquí. Ah, que aquí hay una escalera. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes. Ole. Perseverancia. Desbloquean más armas exclusivas de una categoría en el modo historia. Oh, yeah. No man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith. Which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. I was determined not to give up, however. <sighs> Una comedia. The plumber That's... seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. I had made it my mission to settle that Hola. score come hell or high water. But first, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator. O climb the ladder. Climb the ladder mejor, ¿no? I wanted to use the element of surprise. Plus I figured I could use the exercise. I was warmed up already, so what the hell? Que se giro, tío. Plummer was a mad dog killer, and the people of Nevada City deserve that. Nevada City? Well, I thought Plummer met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Body right. Well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. Ah. Coño, pero si yo estaba bloqueado por Quería que era bajar ahí Hola, tío De verdad, eh Vaya puta gilipollas ¿Y ahora qué? ¿Qué hago ahora? Por aquí no es, por allí no es, por dónde coño es. Ah, mira. Oh, munición, menos mal. Menos mal. Dios mío. 
Hombre de la ley. Fuera de la ley. Boom. Bribón. Vale. Henry Planner. Uy. Henry Planner. Mira a mí que todo es un poco la risa. Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was going to take some doing. Tío. Tío, tío. Primera barra de vida hecha. Ahora qué. Ah, no empieza a aparecer gente, ¿no? Vale, vale, pero déjame que me cubra, coño. No, por favor. No, hombre, no. Qué mal lo he hecho, tío. ¿Cómo que me iré subiendo esta ya que estamos? Aquí lo vamos a dejar. So, did you finally go after that Bob feller? Bob feller? Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Hardin. So that's where I went. Where in Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Was Hardin as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast, but John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. Yo pensaría a oh, episodio 5. Hell, he killed his first Joder. man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down for nobody, not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. Manos rápidas y manos o oh, manos muertas. Bueno, nada, aquí lo vamos a ir dejando. Ha sido cortito, pero hoy tenía poco tiempo, así que. I dodged death many a time. I dodged death many a time. Qué guay, son como son las historias de los de de los sitios, las personas, los grupos, las bandas y todo eso. Mola. Bueno, nada, gente, me voy despidiendo, lo dicho. Eh, probablemente cuando volvamos a darle no lo pasemos, porque nos quedan tres capítulos, son siete, si mal no recuerdo. Y vamos por el cinco. Así que nada, eh, espero que os haya gustado. Como se dice, entretenido y después un rato agradable. Hasta luego.